Boy, stop. You ain't no DJ. DJ, DJ, DJ. <laughs> No need for unintelligence, no need to say I'm better than y'all need to learn some manners, kid. My style's better. Shaking mental data, I ignore what they talking about. It don't matter. Every year. Hip hop to me really is just an escape from this world. Honestly, when you're in hip hop, you can really talk about whatever you want to. And when you come down to your other genres, as in rock and country, techno, anything like that, anything else you won't hear what you'll hear when you listen to hip hop. And you know, it's hard out here where we live in East Tennessee because we're not on the map at all. This is not a place where hip hop needs to, you know, hip hop will not rise up in this area. This is strictly bluegrass in a country area, old rock perhaps. In hip hop, you can talk about whatever you want. Some people take it a step further and talk about things they have. Me personally, I talk about my life experiences and just really how my life has affected, you know, who I am today. I'm not a rich kid at all. I grew up, you know, not having much, working for what I get. So, you know, when you hear my songs, that's really what I'm talking about. I'm really just trying to, trying to tell you what it's like to come from rags to riches. When it comes down to the aspect of my family, they're the most supportive fans that I have. Um, my mother was raised on bluegrass and country music, and she hates the fact of a club. But every time I perform at a club or a venue that's not up to her standards, she still shows out and still sits in the back of the audience and watches her son perform. My little brothers and my younger sister, they're always there, always supportive. They come to the studio and kick it with us. They're just really about it. And my father developed dementia two years ago. And I know, I know that uh, he would love what I'm doing, really. And it's just having him have Alzheimer's is even more like of a reason for me to just do what I do. I, you know, I think about him and then I put him somewhat into my stories, as in I put what I lived through what he taught me. And so a lot of the things you may hear in my songs come from what I've learned like through the past years. You know, Atlanta, New York, big cities, Philadelphia, all these places, they're growing around hip hop because they have many urban areas. We don't have urban areas in East Tennessee, truthfully. And just having that been said, it's hard for me as an artist to really try to find connections to get up in the industry when, you know, nobody is around out here. There's, there's a huge difference between hip hop and rap. Most don't see it, but if you're an artist, you definitely see it and you definitely know what it is. Personally, I have a beef with rap artists, mainly because rap is not hip hop. Hip hop, you tell a story, you tell who you are, you tell what you're about. And rap is just talking about what you have and what you own and what you're gonna get. I'm 19 years old. I was born and raised in Kingsport, Tennessee. I've lived here all my life. Uh, really, I just started doing music probably a year and a half ago, maybe two years. Okay. Hip hop at its finest. Kicking it like that kid Leonidas. Bush right behind us, wild as a wildebeest. I got the beats for the feast that feed these city streets. The abomination that your daughter's taking. You're mistaken if you thought that I was faking. I'm just placing these words and time I'm making a real rap song so y'all will finally get the statement. Make him yield to my verbs until I see some action. Bruce Banner, Gamma Rays that I'm blasting. Back again, never been this nonfiction. Gotta heat it up like I'm causing friction. Eviction to the whack MCs. Watch them hang their head like the weeping willow tree. It's B-L-E-V-I-N-S. Got your lioness. Come out with an S on my chest.